So we're going to resume with Ed then. Ed, you uh, opted not to take Carrie Jimenez's generous offer to spend the night on her couch. And you have departed to parts as yet unknown to blow off some stress after this Riddler job. What do you do? Have we split the cash? We have? Okay. Yeah, I think so. You know, based on establishing that, like, Ollie gave some of it to Scraps, or I guess gave all of it to Scraps, some of it for his use and some of it for him to hold on to. So I think when you all went your separate ways, uh, you all took your portion of the score. Cool. So I think Ed is going to spend a little bit. Um, he's going to go to a nearby goth bucks, order himself a, you know, a nice uh, big copy. Um, um, but like one of the dessert coffees that's like this much coffee and this much like everything else. <laughs> um, yeah, sure. And uh, sit down and calculate how much he owes each of his respective partners and their children in alimony and child support, you know, including backdating for all the stuff that he couldn't pay. Um, and after he does that, he's going to <laughs> painstakingly, like, take public transit all around Gotham, kind of just, you know, leaving, doing sort of a ding-dong ditch, you know, leaving it on their doorstep and ringing the doorbell and <laughs> uh, <laughs> hustling away. Okay. So he's going to take care of that. Um, and he he's not stopping at any of these places. No, I think... I think okay, Ed it's, still has it's a just, lot of uh, shame yeah. around that. Um, around kind of abandoning or, you know, not being able to provide for his various um, families. Yeah, um, so I think the last thing that we see of that little montage um, like has to be, yeah, it's it's gotta be the last thing that we see of that little montage has to be uh, Ed uh, rings the buzzer and, of uh, an apartment building and uh, slips a, you know, it's like a, a folded over manila envelope, right? Um, uh, into, into the door. And we see, I, I don't think she would come down uh, if somebody miscellaneously rings your apartment buzzer in Gotham, you don't come downstairs. But um, we see from uh, a couple of stories up, the uh, the window opens and uh, poking their heads out into the cold night air are Isabel and her daughter Mila, uh, who uh, will look over the ledge of the window and kind of up and down the street and there's nobody there as we see Ed just zip around the corner I think in a moment of weakness he does look over his shoulder but then keeps on scooting yep. so Ed has a uh, mission in mind after he mm. does this, he is going to go to the Lex Buy, uh, the well-known, you know, computer and technology hardware door. Yeah, of course, the Lex Buy. <laughs> of course, <laughs> obviously, um, and buy himself a new laptop and one of those like little portable like Wi-Fi thingies, and he is going to go back home. Uh, or home to the warehouse, um, sit down, crack open a nice can of seltzer water, and, um, oh, of course, he's gonna text, um, he's gonna te text Carrie Jimenez. Um, but he's actually, I think, going to spend the rest of the night, um, or evening, rather, um, looking up, uh, like, different kind of renovation companies, um, Ed's like, Ed's like feeling weirdly, maybe it's the concussion, maybe it's the broken rib, I don't know, <laughs> but 
Ed's feeling like, you know, he's feeling light. He's like, maybe, I don't know, maybe th this is a sign of things to come, you know? Um, and uh, he, yeah, he's gonna look up renovations and uh, co different companies. Um, and uh, he's gonna, he's thinking about renovating the warehouse. Cool, I love that. Uh, okay, so let's, that's bleh. let's have a roll to see if this uh stress clearing gets ed into any trouble oh I boy i think you're rolling with let's see here i think you're rolling with yeah let's say okay let's say two 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 dice two dice oh, okay one in a five? Okay. So, um, yeah, mixed success right down the middle. Cool. Okay. So I am going to make you spend some funds uh, for some of this stuff. Um, I would say I think you need to... This this does open this up to the crew a bit because the funds are pooled. So I think based on what you have established, you are going to have to spend two funds. You're going to have to spend one for the money that you uh, that you sent around, right? And then you're going to have to spend one to acquire the laptop and the Wi-Fi gadget. I don't know what it is. They have a name, but now I can't remember Jet. What? Yeah. What is exactly does it do? The Wi-Fi Gonzo. But what does it's, it do? It's 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 something that would that would allow you to uh to essentially get Wi-Fi anywhere, right? It's oh. it's one of yeah. those ones. It, yeah. yeah, it's it's like a, somehow it's a, it's a hot spot. Mess. That's what it is. It's a hot you spot. Mean, it's a mobile hot spot. Like 5G. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. It maybe he doesn't get the jetpack then. Either way, um, I think I think that's going to be two funds between those two things. Uh, but you will be able to add the laptop and the Wi-Fi hotspot to your um, crew assets. Well, does that seem worth it to you guys? Like, I mean, because if it's spending crew funds, then I, you know, like there that's I don't want to I don't want to universally decide like, yeah, this is how we're spending proof funds. Um I mean, how good a laptop is it? That's the real question. <laughs> Top you of the are, line, baby. You are our engineer. We, we do like, need yeah. that. We do need it. Can I run Civ six on it? Yes. Great. I endorse it, this. It it runs crisis great. Cool. <laughs> you know you wanna know it's something wildly stupid? Modern computers still can't run Crisis because it was that written... is wildly stupid. No, no, That's it has not. It's, it's not because they don't have the RAM. It's because it was written with technology that did not exist in mind, and that technology never came into existence. Wow! Look it up. That's it's wild. so stupid. It still doesn't run well. That's wild. Yeah, Ed downloads CS:GO. <laughs> he does seem like a CS:GO kind of guy. <laughs> 3,000 hours logged. <laughs> Rocket League. Um, no, but yeah, I mean, I guess we do need a, you know, top of the line. Yeah. Laptop. So I, um, this is probably like some military grade, like, and by military grade, I mean like bulletproof, bomb proof, high end crap. I do also think it could be beneficial since we did just, um, significantly increase in notoriety to have another safe house um that is not like in addition to the yard especially because there's scraps there and there's like other kids there too it could be well, it could be good to have um another like safe house we could go to like when the heat's really on us i don't know does yeah. that make sense yeah sorry it's our little annex mm -hmm. if it if if people agree with that, you know, like a house that one oh uh, right. crew might that's be buying. True. Hmm, that's very true. Hmm. I will also need to use crew funds for mechanically 
Yeah. Yes. Well, let, so the group oh. funds can just be for the, like, the gear, like the computer gear, right? Well, each of us got, like, respectively one funds. Oh, right. True. So, sorry. That, that's separate. That's combined with the. You five have, that we yeah. Acquired, right? You have five mm-hmm. total. No, you don't get individual funds. That. Oh, that okay, is not, okay, okay. That is not cool. part that's of it. What, what I so meant was, everything has to come out of if you If we wanted to divide it up, there would be one fund for each of us and then one fund yeah. for us to spend together, is yes. what I meant. Yes. Yeah, like, the thing that, like, Ollie, what I was trying to establish with Ollie is that, like, theoretically, we each split it up, but mechanically, we have not. And, like, um, right. that's why I was like, a single vacuum-sealed bag is not going to take a chunk out of our narrative fund. Because fund isn't really an amount. That was more yes. of a... Yeah. Um, yeah, if you're doing something I, that is narratively significant that requires cash, that is funds, and if you're doing... Uh, if you're taking advances, that's funds. So that's when it comes into play. I would say we should definitely get an advance. I think it's worth getting at basically the equivalent of a... Um, like a very high-end laptop with a basic, a, like a bulletproof connection. Yeah. Both, figura- both literal and figurative. Here's here's what I'll, here's what I'll give you. I will, I will say either this will ignore the level penalty or it will, um, it will allow you to have armor against like any sort of hacking consequences. So you, you'll always have one armor on a job that you can pull out. If uh, something goes south. when you succeed all the time. Yeah. Yeah, I think I like the really ignoring big. level differences. Okay. Better. Agreed. Yeah. Okay. So, I am marking you down two because I feel like one of those was narratively significant, and one of them gets you in advance. Yeah, I mean, I feel bad um, using crew funds on paying off. Uh, you got it. That's families. the game. There, there's no, no, there's no way to play the game. There's not otherwise. a single one of us that would be okay with that. What is the mechanical repercussions of alimony? I need to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How um, this actually, trout actually, population? dot 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 should be very happy about this because this means that um, Ed is more likely to be distracted with uh, previous wives instead of potential future wives. That's true. That's facts. Look, we're just talking. We're, we're sending memes. It's not- Stop. It's the don't. I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to hear about it, Ed. Um, oh, I would- Speaking of which. Can so I I'm writing you? down that the crew now has a military-grade hacking laptop. Ed, you are- So you're, you're hanging out at the- at the loft, right? And you're you're sort of going through, uh, you know, you're you're paging through these these Reno companies, uh, checking stuff out. Look, I'm just trying to get a, I'm just trying to get maybe a working shower, <laughs> and maybe a, yeah. like a mini fridge. And that is when you hear the cat meow bell go off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, the hatch uh, on the ceiling of the loft opens and oh. Catwoman slides down the ladder uh, and lands behind you with her, her her usual backpack over her shoulder. She says, uh, oh, good. Glad I caught you here. Ooh, yeah, it's been a day. Um, how, How's it going? It's going good. I got you some soup. Cool. I got a confession. Oh my god, Ed. I know, right? It's kind of badass. That's not exactly the word that I would use, no. And what happened? I jumped out a window, like all and, oh, okay. and, and well, zip I guess lined my way it. down. I got the concussion before that, but um yeah, some guy just picked me up and it was a, it was a girl actually. Uh, picked me up and just threw me across the room into a wall. It was crazy. Ed, what did you do today? So I went, well, me and the crew, uh, we, we went down to uh, financial district, uh, Ace Chemicals, um, you know, saw old old Ed, uh, 
Mr. Enigma, um, stole a bunch of money from him, uh, pissed him off, uh, and um, yeah. But I think that's I think that's pretty much yeah. You know, wreaked a bunch of havoc, hacked into his systems. I fired the guy, a girl, the person who threw me across the room. Fired, you know. But then I got a rehired. Um, what else? There were puzzles. We solved some puzzles. Walked down a really long hallway. Yeah. And then almost got killed by a uh, death image. And as you're spitting out all of this crazy wild shit that you did today, uh, Selena just like uh, peels off her mask, walks around to the other side of the table and sort of plops down across from you uh, with her chin in her hand just dangling the the cat mask from it and looks at you with utter bafflement as you as you just continue this string of events uh, that happened earlier today. Ed, we did not establish at any point that you had mentioned this job oh, to yeah. Selena. Oh so, yeah. <laughs> I think it all is of brain. this is a hundred percent news to her. Cause she, cause she texted Ed being like, uh, I, like hope you're doing okay. And he said like, Oh yeah, just getting into trouble. Um, <laughs> but he, yeah. So no. Yeah. I guess, yeah, I guess not. I just figured you were out getting brunch or something with the crew. You... Oh yeah. Well, we did get brunch, and then we, you know, you know. And as then you, you knocked over brunch. the Riddler. Yeah, it was great. It was awesome. Um, That's a so... pretty bold move, Dad. Your former boss. Yeah. Well, you know, he is kind of a dick. Um, something that was a little oh, a I tip know. concerning is that he um did he knew that I was your father and uh he um said that he was somehow responsible for informing you of that shit he dropped that while you were robbing him yeah that will see we were in a cage and that's when he was like slowly revealing the death image we that yes yeah uh so so uh dot 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 showed him this he was really angry he was like bugging out you know Dot dot, what? He's okay. So he's a former coworker of mine. Um, he's a really nice kid. Um, it was his birthday the other day. Uh, and um, so he used to work for the Riddler. I say used to because he quit. Um, but he basically made these images that uh will kill you if you look at them, and they're called basilisks. Um, his name's his name's Adam, but he prefers to be you know called dot dot dot. It's this whole thing, you know, like. Catwoman, and I mean, I tried to tell him that. You... Well, I mean, no, I didn't. But you know, like you have to be given the name. I, you know, I didn't want to say it to him, but like. <laughs> okay, it's it's true. I didn't want to tell you. Riddler's the one who told me that you were probably my dad. We made a deal, and he asked me the information that I could use to try to figure it out. I didn't want it to be fake. I spent my whole childhood wishing that you were around, w wishing that I had a dad. And I find out that it's somebody I know who's kind, who has a good heart, who can't help but make families wherever he goes. <laughs> when Nigma came to me, he knew I wanted to be part of that. And if it wasn't real, I don't, I don't know. Oh. Like you said, he's kind of an asshole. So who knows? I think it's real. And you know, even if he is an asshole, and even if he did this for asshole reasons, I'm, I'm glad, I'm, I'm glad he did. You know, I don't, 
talk to a lot of my kids and the idea that you want to have a connection with me is I will spend the rest of my life wishing that I was around for you when you were, when you were a kid. But now that we're together, I'm not going anywhere. And the Riddler did one thing right, I guess. And I'm proud to have a daughter like you. I'm happy that you're <clears throat> happy that you're in my life. She sort of she she's got she's gone from from leaning onto the table to sort of sitting back in the chair, kind of arms crossed, uh, hunched over, uh, uh, you know, sort of sort of hunched into herself a little bit. Um, and it's interesting, you know, here's, here's somebody who is, who is athletic, powerful, independent, who, who, uh, just when, when they walk into a room, there is this palpable energy of somebody who is totally self-assured and you are in this rare moment seeing underneath that veneer and seeing the the little girl that she talked about hey um i uh i got this i actually got this new laptop you want to help me set it up and he kind of scoots over a chair and like pats it uh yeah yeah and she gets up walks over and sits next to you in the chair and as you you know start to start to go through the the laptop um she selena just kind of leans into you and rests her head on your shoulder I think in that very dad way, Ed, you know, acknowledges it, like, probably, like, turns, gives her a little, like, you know, kiss, like, in the hair, and, uh, it doesn't really say anything, because, you know, dads and emotions, <laughs> what, what are they, right? And, like, leans into her, too, you know? Trying to be both a solid support and also, you know, taking in that like love. You're you're there sitting quietly for a moment, and then she says, "You know, the next time you go on a heist, you can call me. Might be a good father daughter bonding experience." Okay, I look forward to it. They won't know what hit him. We uh, will Ed, maybe have to go after the Mad Hatter because he does now have the killing images. Anyway. Yeah, she she arches, she pulls up, arches an eyebrow at you, Ed, which is when your phone rings. Yellow. <laughs> Ed, you gotta help me. I'm so oh. Sorry. <laughs> oh no. I, I, my mom's kicking me out and, I, and my brother said I'm the villain and I, he called me like the brother who held secrets and I, I'm becoming Scar and that made me think of you because you have cats and can I live with you? Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Okay. Y yes. Um. All right. Come on over. Hang on. Just one second. Okay. I'm going to cover the mouth. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> Uh, that sounded is. loud. Yes. Um, Adam. Not that, that. His, his mom just found out he worked for the Riddler. I guess he's getting kicked out. Is it okay if he, you know, care to take him one more stray? <laughs> Always. Right. Uh, Adam, you, you there? Yeah, what's <laughs> up? Yeah. Okay, all right. You're going to come. Uh, Ed gives him the address. Um, yep, look. yep. I uh, don't have um, really a shower or much of anything, but you can come here. Uh, we're gonna get the place fixed up. You okay. know, it, it's it's gonna be okay. It, okay. It, I promise you, it's gonna be okay. Your your family loves you. I know. I don't know what they said to you, but whatever it is, they're just they're they're. It's gonna take them time to adjust, and it's it's gonna be okay. And you are not. 
a failure. And we all keep secrets. We're human. Okay. So come on over. Oh, I'll, make you, I'll heat you up some chunky soup. Um, That's okay. It, you can keep that for yourself. <laughs> Uh, we'll we'll fi- we'll find something. Uh, we'll 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 fix some. We'll order a pizza. We got the <laughs> we got the cash. Um, yeah. And and I just got this new laptop. We can uh, let you you got your, you got yours right. We can play some Rocket League. Like it's come on over. It's you play Rocket okay. League? Yeah, I fucking love Rocket League. Oh I'm my god. Really bad at it. Like <laughs> I cannot tell you the number of times. Like thank God they don't have a chat function, right? But you know. Uh, it just uh come on over it's okay. gonna be okay okay yeah. i'm coming yeah all right <laughs> over here okay okay i'm all right. sorry co- okay. okay it's okay that just it's ends okay. the call <laughs> <laughs> oh God. amazing and selena gets up and says sounds like i should make up one of the couches as a bed yeah, um, I, I, you, you just got back. I can do it. Ed stands up and then <laughs> almost falls over. <laughs> uh huh. And she, she sort of gently pushes you back into your seat as she gets up, uh, and heads off to grab. There's probably like some just miscellaneous plastic bags of bedding uh, that are stashed throughout this space, and that is where we will leave Ed for now. I want to cut to the next day. I think we are still in the loft, so we get that kind of (laughs) night to day cut. Ed, Adam, the two of you are, are here. Ollie, you come in. We see you come in probably somewhat agitated. You called everybody together. You said, okay, let's, you know, you all you all ended up agreeing to meet here because Ed and, and dot, dot, dot are already here, right? Um, you could not find Ivy last night. You went out to the, the address in that employee file. Um, which was a bit of a trek. It was out in the suburbs. It was like up in Bristol. So you trekked all the way out there. I mean, you you drove all the way out there. You checked out this address. House was empty, dark, didn't seem to be anybody home. And, uh, you know, what else are you going to do? You headed back into into the city and you called everybody together. I I assume that I've tried something as simple as calling her phone. You certainly have, yes. And as of yet, you haven't gotten a response. So we see you enter the loft. Is is Ollie playing it cool or are they a bit agitated? I think Ollie comes in with the um, energy of a raccoon that has been placed in a garbage can and had that garbage can shooken repeatedly. They are disheveled in a way that it's hard to delineate how somebody who kind of dresses like they just found all their clothes on the street anyways. But like, it's you couldn't point to any one thing, but they're disheveled and I think just moving in a way that is, uh, they're stalking around the place. Yeah, and it's, I think, somewhat early in the morning, though. Everybody was up pretty late, so not too early. But uh, Ed is making the driest scrambled eggs on a plate right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, And the the last person to enter is Jackie. I have a really important question. Mm -hmm. Am I alone? Because I... I think she would have asked. You would have asked Harvey. Yeah. I mean, I think based on what we established, at this point, if you ask Harvey to do something, especially something fairly low lift, like, hey, we're gonna go, we're gonna go see I my friends. Missing. 
Hello. Ivy, yeah, I, Ivy is missing. Uh, like, here's your opportunity to start to start doing this. Are you asking Harvey Dent or are yeah. you asking Two Face? Uh, depends on who responds to me. She's, she doesn't like. I don't think she like instigates conversations with like who am I speaking to right now. She right, says something, right. and whoever chooses to respond is who is deciding to respond today. But okay. also deeply funny relationship option of having them wear different hats. <laughs> different okay. hoodies. So we've different established hoodies. they have different hoodies. I think I think we're playing forward with the the two face personality mm. here. Because oh, oh boy. The, oh boy. this was the one that you that you essentially yeah. struck oh this boy. deal with, right? So yeah, that's so Jackie and Harvey enter last. And you are all Morning. convened. Jackie and Harvey two face. <laughs> Hi. You I, see Ed, Adam. You have to into... calm down. Sorry. Oh, it's, it's, it's scrambled eggs. I'm, they're burning them. Go handle that. Give him a flip. You see Adam turn white as a sheet. Is like a, a mix of like star-crossed and horrified all at once. Adam, are you like in pajamas? <laughs> yeah, I'm in like sweats. <laughs> Great. Can we get uh, are these like like are these ice like pack old on the eye. sweats? Like, are we are we talking like what what level of classy? Are we at full oh, no. breakdown mode? This is uh, breakdown mode, Adam. Like, so like your oldest pair of sweatpants. Like oldest pair of sweatpants. They've got stains on them. Wrinkly ass like shirt. Oh no! Is your are your eyes all red and puffy? Yeah, from crying so much last night. Just he's a kid. Are you I've okay? Him a cold pack. Yes. No, you're not. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Who the hell is this? Uh, this is the kid dot 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 that I was telling you about who got us that job before. Hello. You're the kid who decided to knock over the Riddler? Yep. I think Ed turns around and silently gestures with the spatula, like... I'm standing. I got this, I got this. I, uh, Jackie's gonna, like, find a glass and rinse it out and just pour like some orange juice in it that I'm assuming that maybe you guys bought and um, hands it over to dot 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 uh what happened you were fine uh like 12 hours ago it's great that's good oh, it's so not though it's, it's like really I not got... you're a terrible liar I know uh, I just like got kicked out of my house it's fine oh snap yeah. So I'm just staying with Ed. Okay. Question. Yeah. Did I meet? Did I meet Selena? Yes. Oh, I, I yes. think she's. I think she's there. So. Uh, oh, the well, gang is all has here. she dropped down out of the rafters? Yeah. May, maybe this is Liter the point. Does she, she literally drop into the scene? Yeah. Yeah. She. She. Literally drops into the scene. Well, hey, gang. How we all doing? Pretty damn good, all things considered. Does she, uh, Adam? Did you introduce yourself as Adam or dot 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 to her? What is one hundred percent dot dot dot? One hundred percent was like, I'm your biggest fan. You Great. are such an inspiration to me. <laughs> yeah. So she she, you know, drops out of the rafters, looks over, looks over to you, dot dot dot, and says, <laughs> "You doing okay, dot? I'll be okay." you sleep all right no but that's we'll worry about that tonight it's a big loft i can make you a bed somewhere else if you want was it did adam uh not sleep well because you know of all the emotional damage or because ed's ed was you know doing a thunderous dad snore all night <laughs> oh oh no yes the answer uh, to that question is yes <laughs> Adam is a, is a roach. <laughs> Will sleep anywhere given the opportunity. However, God, I wish that could be me. Not 
in emotional uh, disturbance. Uh, but normally this would not be like neither the the loft nor Ed snoring is going to cause dot 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 any lost sleep. Thunderous dad snoring magnified by a warehouse. Um, now I'm just picturing that at night it just sounds like a giant cat sleeping. Look at you. Yeah. Have you accidentally developed a cat signal? Mm, Is that why there's so many damn cats? Arguably. So what the hell are we doing here? I would also like to know, actually. Because I thought you were done. I thought I thought you didn't want any more. Maybe he's missing. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What does missing mean? Out to get a friend and get up and never came back. A friend? But we're all here. So, so like... Wait, like a friend or, you oh. know, she has the information, friend. Is it, is and... it fucking Rodriguez? Oh. No. No? Nah. Of all night, nobody in the house. And you you, you called her? Oh. And Does that, Ollie, have... is when you get text from oh, Ivy. This is the equip- Did I just... I swear to fuck, if this is the equivalent of like, you know, when you're having like a difficulty with like a thing or a computer mm-hmm. or whatever, and it keeps happening over and over and over again, mm-hmm. you're like, here, come here, look at this bullshit. And then it works perfectly fine. This yep. is that. I'm going to jump through this screen and strangle you, David. You get a text from <laughs> Ivy. It reads, picked up the new friend you told me about. He's become very talkative. Meet me later at the yard. I'll, uh, I, I can try. Uh, let me see. I can maybe try don't, to ping her phone. Yeah, I've got a couple of add, contacts. Add, that I, I mean, can, uh, I can add, send out some. Some. He literally great just texted me. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> it's feelers. Get your Somebody plants ready. Was worried, feelers. weren't they? That's a lot of concern about uh, somebody. An extremely sick person vanishes into the night. With no indication Texted of where they're going. All of us, like we were, we were gonna be moving out, Ali. Oh, don't say that right now. I'm so sorry. Please oh, I'm don't sorry. say that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, what the? So you just like uh, uh, sleep here with Ed now, huh? Yeah. Who me? <laughs> I love that for both of you. It's great. Get like another pallet of that soup, I guess. <laughs> I already told that that's hey, okay. Don't knock until you try soup. it. So you don't actually need us to do any sort of reconnaissance, is that? Yeah. Uh, uh, oh. Ivy is fine. Uh, Ollie is uh, texting Ivy back. Um, where are you? I thought Ollie's this literally whole... doing this. Uh uh They just. <laughs> tippity tappity tippity tappity uh because just a reminder this is on a pink motorola razor uh bejeweled uh or bedazzled flip phone so it's proper <laughs> tippity tapping. oh two-face you uh you play rocket league i'm Ed, i swear to god <laughs> that's oh god i don't know what the fuck that is ed <laughs> don't worry about it i thought we were here to do the rest of that job. Oh yeah, the rest, the rest of the job. job. That's right. Thank you. Thank you, Two-Face. You told me you didn't get the stuff. We didn't get the stuff. We gotta go well, get we it. we did not, and get rid of it. And get it for me. And get rid of it. And get it for me, because not it's my problem. what I said. <laughs> what, are you, what exactly are you gonna do with a bunch of Images that killed people. I like, don't know. They're not I can taking think of the a images. Of things. Absolutely not. Hey, thank you, Two Face. You you think you you no. think? Oh my god! D- don't agree. Do not agree. Uh, like Jackie gets like right in between the two of you. No, you made a deal with me. That was you were gonna get rid of the ones that kill people, right? You you all heard me say that yesterday. I heard myself say that. All right. Yeah. You make ones that like make people love the earth. 
like believe in climate change? I mean, yes, I I could theoretically do that. No, but you don't. But do but I'm I did agree I would get rid of the ones that kill people. I did yeah. Agree the point that. is, we got to get these out of the hands of that twerp that's got them. Get them ourselves. That's what I agree with. One way or another. Yeah, y'all told me something about the Mad Hatter. Who the fuck is that? It's just one freak after another in this city, let me tell you, kid. Yeah, but like, you got different type. Ollie's chiming in, like pacing. Ollie's basically doing circles around <laughs> all of you, just looking at this phone, waiting for a text message to yeah, come. Yeah, it, ding, oh, it dings again. Ivy says, in transit, see you later. Okay. No, Ollie just sends a K. Oh. 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 Hit her Hostile. with a K. Like you, like, you, like you were not just freaking out for a solid like eight to nine hours last night. <laughs> oh, they're totally chill. Like you're chill. cool and calm and collected about this. Um, uh, I have a question. Flips the phone. Oh, yep. for, for you, Ollie. <laughs> Are you certain that this is Ivy you're texting? Nope. Because it is very possible that she just got fucking captured and they were using her phone. Extremely likely. Mm, but they know about the yard. So, or she, she knew about the yard, so... Mm. She did mention the yard specifically, and it's certainly her number. Or at least the phone that she's was last using. I was like, one way or another, you're going to find out at the yard. That's true. So, uh, yeah, Ollie's, like, finally stopped pacing, uh, or is pacing at a slower speed. Um, closes, uh, snaps, close the phone, and just uh, chimes into this conversation. It's just like, you ever noticed that all of his hench people are just, like, fucking weirdest? I like, had noticed that. Like, I don't like Joker's guys. They're all fucking nuts. But, like... The combination of creepy, but like child creepy. Yeah, they're deeply unwell individuals, like on the opposite end of the spectrum of whatever we're we're at, for sure. Yeah, they're a hell of a lot of fun when they're on the stand. Let me tell you that. <laughs> that was sarcasm. Sorry, it's still funny. I mean, <laughs> there there was a, a trial scene in Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, so. I can't I can't say it wasn't foretold. Everything they do is thematic. It, nothing has changed since last night. I don't really want to give you these. Well, they're I not agree. yours Matt to Matt Hatter give. shouldn't have them. That's correct. I think you shouldn't take them. I think you should destroy them. I think that unleashing that kind of chaos into the city Come on, what are you trying to get from that? I still, like, like I just don't understand. You got kicked out because uh, of your job, right? I did. That's it? It's yeah. only going to get worse from there. If you have such a problem with the basilisks, you're going to have to kill me because I know how to make basilisks. I don't Whoa, have to kill you to stop okay. you, kiddo. Just full disclosure. Let's, let's bring it down. Let's just focus on the task at hand, like getting them from... The, the 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 mad the mad hatter you know you know some of us haven't had a lot of sleep you know with you know going through some some stuff like we can all think about this later you know but let's just focus on you know getting the the, the stuff right okay. I think that's yeah then that we then can we'll, figure we'll, out we will deal with that later we are gonna deal with it I guess gonna be dealt with. It's, right. it's going to be dealt with later. You want to get the basilisk back from that hatter. Correct. Okay. Well, uh, I've worked a long time in the city. Uh, I know where one of his headquarters might be. How? Adam, what did I just say? I've spent my whole life here. You didn't, and I have but you didn't specify jobs. the manner in which you acquired this knowledge. Oh, I don't know if it's accurate. This is just well. That's how. That's what the manner of uh, the the acquisition tells us. If that's reliable information sources, come on, Jackie. I this... have literally done so many jobs in this city. 
I have a rough idea about where everybody is. Whether or not this is the base he's still using, that we can find out. Right. It's a bigger lead than you had, isn't it? We can it's certainly hop in a car together and just roll around the city and look for bunnies. Does he do oh. that? Yeah. That's kind of weird. I respect I respect the thematic tendencies. So where where is this uh where's this hideout? So the information that you have, Jackie, is uh that the Mad Hatter's current hideout is Wonderland, an abandoned amusement park on Amusement Mile. I feel like this shouldn't come to a shock to anybody, but it's the Wonderland Amusement Park. Huh. Oh my god! That's where I rigged the horse car! Oh my gosh! Oh my it's god. like it's what? like I just used logic from being in the city and not putting two and two together. Did this thing burn down like six times? I mean, yeah, but who's counting? At least. It feels like every time, every time I'm turning around, some disruptor is trying to build a, like, revamp it and build it up. It never worked. I can deal with that. Well, Fine. anyway. Sometimes you just got a bad piece of real estate. <laughs> Ollie's looking very distracted um, and just ca is kind of uh, keeps trying to catch Ed's eye, I think, uh, throughout this conversation. It's kind of hard to tell because of the sunglasses, but I think yeah. Ed <laughs> gets the gets the gets the 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 picture and <laughs> it just uh, Ollie just kind of pulls him aside. Hey, can you um, you know how to do a phone trace? Yeah, I, I can do that. Uh, I think, David, can I do that? <laughs> yeah, you can absolutely do that. But I'm still down a dice because I still have my yeah. arm. That's fine. Ollie, um, just I, I think like in Sharpie, um, like on their arm, just like pulls the Sharpie out of the pocket and on their arm really quickly writes down Ivy's phone number. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I can look that up. Do you know the carrier? Do you know like? No, uh, are you trying to? So, what are you trying to do? Are you trying Wayne to figure TNT? out who owns the phone, or are you trying to figure out oh, location where Wayne it physically TNT. is? Yeah, okay. like, like do triangulate. A find mine. Okay. Find my iPhone. Yeah. <laughs> so that that's going to be significantly harder than just you know tracing who the phone belongs to. Um, I think see, this we'll, is why you gotta get a smartphone. You can share your location. Yeah. And... We'll say you're. I mean, theoretically, this is opposed to Ivy. So, uh, who is down? Roll. And we have just established that we purchased the. Do yeah. we have that computer yeah. yet? Uh, oh yeah! If you oh. want to look it up on the computer that we just established. So yeah, you you can ignore the level. Then you're not down anything. Um, and we're harm, definitely talking about tinkering with this computer system. But you still system. have two level one harm. Yep. Oh wow! Ooh, I had okay. two. Okay, so you're, you're definitely you're down for that for sure. So all right, come on. Tinker oh, rating gosh. down one. Uh, it's a four and a three. Okay. Not a total. Uh, uh, so four mixed success. Um, I think you can get. So it's triangulation, right? So, uh, you can get direction but not location. So you have a you have a ping that is moving, I guess it would kind of be east to west, though that's not particularly relevant. What is relevant is it is moving uh, towards the part of town that the yard is. Or at least it is it is on a it seems to be, you know, moving in a way that would not preclude the signal from going towards the yard. Like, looks like she's headed back to the yard. Or, I mean, approximately. Right. Um, like I said, just keep that under your hat, yeah? Okay. Okay, Ali. Um, Ed gives them a reassuring sort of pat slash rub on the back. Everything's gonna be okay, okay? It's all good. It's, it's gonna be okay. 
it is a clear sign of how stressed Dolly is that they don't like kind of like you know the thing that cats do when they're like <laughs> when they're like I want you to be close yeah. to me I don't want you to touch me mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah Ollie normally would just like yeah just kind of turn into a non-Euclidean fluid to get out of the way of being patted on the back um, but in this case just ignores it I feel like while you were having that aside, like Jackie's pulled up some information on the amusement park on her phone and is was showing it uh, at least to Selena, dot, 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 and Harvey. It makes sense. It's certainly keeping in theme. And if there's yeah, one and... thing we love in Gotham, it's our themes. And I've, I've been here barely recently, so I, it's not going to be at least unfamiliar territory to me. Yeah, and the location specifically is at the sort of northern end of the the Gotham River Promenade in Amusement Mile. So kind of way up at the the sort of far north end of Amusement Mile on the river. And look, if the information's, you know, old, which I admit it could be, uh, but not exactly in the middle of downtown. We'll just... Find other leads. Worst case scenario, we can always just if we, if we're so focused on getting the uh, the basilisk destroyed, we can always just bomb the place. Uh, okay. Ooh, so I yeah. go back to that, uh, Ed. That we know we that that did get us put into Arkham last time. So I'd like to not. We could do a greatest hit of uh, destroying abandoned rich people playgrounds. I'm trying to move away from that. I'm trying I, to move I think towards that. So maybe. Time in Occam. No, you, you, it's not not worth it. Sounds like Look. a good idea. Sounds like oh epic, and then Batman hauls you into Occam, and then anyway. You have met Batman? Batman? Yeah. Yes. So many times. Um, no, Joe. you do not want that. That's like meeting the Statue of Liberty. He's like an icon. He's if like the Statue of Liberty wanted to kick you in the fucking face. It doesn't have to be like that. The Statue of Liberty had a giant stick up his ass. Wow. Imagine Ed. imagine that torch and then flip it around and put it somewhere else. Oh my god. Hey, look, I love Batman just as much as the next next guy, but he he does I mean, he has a like a bat shaped thing up there, you know. I'm just saying. We can all agree that the man clearly has problems like the rest of us. Yeah. Uh, Ed, we know one thing. Whether or not this is the actual location, Mad Hatter has the basilisk. Do you have those scramblers? So, according to my sheet, I have two slices filled on the claw. Yeah, you did not return to the scrambler project, Ed. So, you have two... Try to whip it up now <laughs> and try to finish it off. I do have a I do have an ability that says, uh, so I'm an inventor. Gain a die when rolling to craft a gadget or software, or fill one extra segment on a clock when creating a complex device. And mm. I yeah, that do definitely have comes only, into play. I do have only two segments left, so it's possible that I could do it. Give it a shot. Yeah, let's let's see if either you've had time to work on the scrambler, or I think you're like I've almost got it. I can I can almost get it. I'm trying to figure out if I should just push myself already, um, but that that is an option available to you. This is certainly an action roll, so you can push yourself. We can talk about devil's bargains, mm. all the all is, the good stuff. How much stress is pushing yourself? Two. All right, you know what? What the hell? I'll do it. All right. You have a fresh stress track to play around with. And uh, immediately. Yeah, I mean, we're we're looking at your what what action are you looking at here? Would it be operate or tinker? I think Think it'd probably be tinker, right? Yeah, yeah. I think that's what you used last time. Okay, so tinker rating, you're up one because you push yourself. Help is also an option if you really want to juice this one. Eh, y'all keep your stress. I don't know. Maybe Dice Christ will be with us tonight. Dice Christ? Two threes and a four. Okay. So a four is a 
a four is a mixed success. So there, you're going to do it, but there's going to be some sort of consequence. So I think, okay, I, I'm going to give you some options. So options for consequence. Um, you don't have enough materials to put scrambler glasses together for everybody. You are not certain if they will work because you haven't tested them and you don't necessarily have any way to do so. Or, um, I, I think let's pick between those two. Two is enough. So it's, it's going to be they, one of those two. What if they... Unless you have another idea. Yeah. Work, but they, like, pot, like, there's the possibility of them shorting out. Like, I don't, like, maybe you have to do a fortune roll or something. Like, yeah, I mean, they're not electronic, they... so they can't short mm. oh, that's or true. anything. But that would, yeah, the, the mechanical way that the, that the, you don't know if they work would manifest is you will have to roll to use them. Mm. So either I, I don't you, know what... you don't have enough or you have to roll to use them. I have an I... idea. Um, what if, just sort of playing off of that, rather than shorting out, what happens with that roll is actually for is how long it delays your ability to see the image. Ooh. So, like, if you roll, if you roll really well, you're good. It's it's really working. Mixed success is you have like a certain maybe like four part clock, short clock, or something until you do see it. Uh, failure is failure. Yeah, I think that's good. I, yeah, let's, I, let's implement I really it that like way. That. I like that. That's <laughs> like solid. maybe some of the goggles are a little shittier than others. Sure. Um. Yeah, I love that. I'll write that down. Great. I'll also yeah. make a note. But because you had one success and you have that ability, that does fill the clock. So hey. and you don't have them done right this second, but you're like very close to having them finished and you think you can have them finished by the time the crew would would go check out the Mad Hatter. What do these look like? Cool. One second. I, I can show you. Oh <laughs> wow! Hello? Didn't expect that. Visual aid. Prop work. Oh hell! Oh yeah. hell yeah! Now this is pod racing. <laughs> God damn it! I think um, I think dot 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 is gonna pop over to Ollie real quick. Has definitely felt like your like agitation since you come in the door, and it's like, hey, Ollie, everything okay? Been better. Yeah, that was just, that was a stupid fucking question. I know that like you and your boss are like real tight, and uh, I just you know I just I I hope she's okay. And do you know I've always got your back. If, if you ever, I don't know. If if you if you jumped off a cliff, I would also jump off of the same cliff. I love the absolute like wild swings. Like Adam <laughs> is just like I so emotionally. <laughs> I love you. I would I, die for you. <laughs> I love you. I care about you. I would literally just assassinate any person you asked me <laughs> if you needed to. Listen, that is how we express love in this family That's unit. Love. We've established that. 100%. Yeah. Ex extremes. Don't don't make Extreme checks acts that your assassin <laughs> can't cash. That's true. <laughs> um, Ollie's just the... Uh, look, I appreciate it. I, and I got you back, too. What it's worth. It's going to focus on this... Keep my head in the game. Figure it out. This, like, also goes to, like, pat their back. <laughs> Absolutely oh, that's, not. That's so weird. How do you do this? Um, it, it's called yoga. Uh, could not be me. Disgusting. Do you have uh, any idea how the just absolutely fucking wrecked my body is? Dot, dot, dot. It's so just... Oh, well, yeah, because you, you drive, drive and that's disgusting. Just use public transport. That'd be so, be so better, right? Oh, it's because I fell off a bridge. 
Oh. <laughs> it's it was the bridge. The, the seven story drop. Yeah, that'll do it. That How many agent. stories did we drop? Fell yesterday? off the bridge. Uh, Jack. Yeah. Um, I think Ollie is realizing that they've shared personal information and is now regretting that. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, which is I think where we where we leave it uh with this scene. So are we is the crew agreed that they are hitting the Mad Hatter? I think, think so. so. Okay. Seems like a good way to distract from stress about one's boss. Who <laughs> is Who's going? Okay, well, that's all good. Harvey? Harvey coming along for this, too? Or? Harvey coming. Is, is he? You wanna... that, that's what I'm asking. Oh. Oh. Uh, I mean... Because both of them have explicit motivation to, if you ask them, join you. But as, as the GM, I am not going to make that decision. That is a decision for the crew. Oh, oh, yeah, inside so. Jackie, there are two wolves. One is protect Harvey Dent at all costs. And the other is, I think this might be good for him because we had a, seems like maybe he might be trying. And I'd like to see him see me. <laughs> I'd like for us both to see each other trying. Mm -hmm. Okay. And oh, I don't know though. I would no. very much appreciate a professional thief to get my things back. That would be nice. I can't decide. Oh, mm. shit. There well, are two choices. Oh, there's two only choices. one thing to do in this scenario. L the lesson the that Jackie learned, between. Marcy will never learn. <laughs> which is, clearly, we should just leave this up to chance. Clearly. Uh, okay. This is an interesting one. I'm actually going to say heads, he stays, and tails he comes with, okay. given who is piloting right now. Although, of course, that could yes. switch at any point in time. Certainly sure. could. My ability to catch things. Harvey's coming. Oh, right. boy. Yikes. Everything's going to so. be fine. Oh, my God. Two faces coming on my second operation. That's crazy. Oh no. Uh, Jackie hurriedly hears like you say that and rushes over. Don't say anything. Don't say that. Do not say that. What? Why? None of this. None of this. Second or anything like that. Keep that to yourself. Oh, okay. Was the call Harvey? Or... Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Just keep it cool. Okay. I'm sorry. Just calm down. I'm sorry. What time of day? do you head out to Amusement Mile? We're going to wait for the scramblers to be ready, I think. Yes. It'd be night, right? That's it kind has of iconic. to be night. It's iconic. The amusement park, like, lit up. If we wait around tonight, uh, are we just hanging out all together in that space, or do we, like, maybe fuck off for a bit here and there? You probably have some preparations that you need to make, which will give us buffer space to flashback during the job. Yes. Also, if we're go waiting until night, then Ollie's going to be going back to the yard for the rest of the day and waiting for Ivy. Yeah, for sure. For sure. So, we cut to the six of you now. Ed, Jackie, dot, 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 Ollie, Two-Face, and Catwoman. You are standing on the windswept northern edge of Amusement Mile's Gotham River Promenade, away from the bustle of all the active attractions, uh, you know, the operating boardwalks, the, uh, the non-abandoned amusement parks, restaurants, river cruise piers, uh, of course, the Gotham Zoo, uh, a little ways further down, uh, which is uh, closed but lit up and a chill January wind blows across the broken paving stones. We see gaps where 
the rusted away railings on this part of the promenade ha have been replaced with yellow caution tape and there's faded graffiti on the stones and the concrete around here and you approach an area with a boarded over fence the sort of big panels that they put out when something is under construction or condemned there's a wrought iron gate before you with iron lettering over the top and in the paint peeling off of this you all read wonderland park and that's where we're gonna cut it for this week oh my god this is disgusting <laughs> Thanks for joining us on Manipod Studios for Streets of Gotham. Streets of Gotham runs Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern. You can watch past games on youtube.com slash Manipod Studios. Let's get our players sign-offs and shout-outs. My name is Andre. You can find me at Andre Vera Art on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, and at my uh, website, andrevera.art, which has my professional illustration portfolio as well as all the actual plays that I'm in, including The Atomless Tragedy of the Illusion, Unicorn Hunt, Redline, Power Rangers, and Streets of Gotham. Um, I uh, also want to shout out my uh, itch, uh, itch.io slash Andre Vera Art. We can get some games. Um, I have some uh, games that I've just made by myself, uh, as well as many collaborations with... Uh, my my dear dear wonderful uh super dylan uh including uh at, at the time of recording our newest uh collaborative game american world biker club which is very fun you should check it out i have been hopper regrettably i will continue to be hopper um, if you are uh, a masochist and is, uh, interested in seeking out more of me, uh, you can find me here on this network uh, very often on Flights of Fandom uh, every Tuesday and uh, on The Hole in the World, our award-winning uh, act uh, Invisible Sun actual play. Um, in addition to that, uh, I can be found on the interwebs under The Legend Tree, including on Twitch, where it's done with underscores, so you can come watch the deranged shit that I do put out there. But it's good deranged shit. I have been Marcy. If I shall continue to be here in future, only time will tell. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, I feel pretty confident you can still find me here on Manipod Studios pretty much uh, every Tuesday, as Hopper said, doing Flights of Fandom. Um, we've got a whole bunch of those episodes coming up for you, so you're going to want to keep your eyes right here on this channel each week. Uh, and uh, yes, I too am in the hole in the world, which is every Sunday. Uh, as I've said before, I'm a writer and an editor. You can find me almost anywhere online under the username Experimental Madness. And if you can't find me there, well, you can find me under my secondary, lesser known name, uh, Marsifal. Maddie here. Uh, you can find me on social media um, as Seller Tater and on my website, maddiecourtney.com. Uh, I'd love to plug my friends down at the Laughing Dragon Inn. They're another really great group of TTRPG streamers. So definitely go check their stuff out. Um, I believe they have Twitch, YouTube, and also a cool website uh, with all their characters and campaigns and stuff. And I've been David. You can find me on social media at DBrunel Brutman and on Manipot's Flights of Fandom. You can also find tabletop RPGs I've designed at dbb 8itchio including In the Dark, the Blades in the Dark hack that we play right here on Streets of Gotham. And with that, we'll see you next time. <laughs>